Hi, Rico Robbins of Rob Platoni here on this upload for Jake's channel and this video is going to take some explaining. As a board member of Restore the Magic, we have talked about both Thomas and the Magic Railroad and Shining Time Station DVD releases with our contact at Mattel in the past. When it came to the director's cut, our contact was of the opinion that it was closer to a Shining Time Station movie than a Thomas movie. So on the topic of promoting the director's cut in the UK, I suggested releasing Shining Time Station in the UK for the first time before the director's cut release. So the basic idea is you were taking your stars, original UK narration, and put it over the Thomas stories within an existing episode of Shining Time Station from season one. This would work because Ringo Starr played Mr. Conductor in Season 1. He just puffed slowly away to rest and have a long, long drink. He went home very slowly and was careful afterwards never to be cheeky to Gordon again. Thomas got a little carried away with himself. It can happen to the best of us. Whoops, I must be going. Obviously that wouldn't work for seasons two and three because George Carlin took over for Ringo, whereas Michael Landis took over for Ringo in the UK. And this was necessary because Brit made a point to hit back in the day to not mix up the UK and the US dubs. She wanted UK releases to have UK dubs and US releases to have US dubs. And that is a practice still in place to this day. Well, it'll probably still be in place, hopefully, when Nirvana makes its stupid reboot. Anyway, I originally made demo edits of the first three episodes of Shining Time Station. It was designed to be an example for what it would look like for a contact at Mattel, but I never got around to sending it to him internally. And obviously, any discussion as far as the director's cut is considered is on moot with this Shout Factory release. That, uh, engine. She's in that mountain, isn't she? Even if she were, she'd be no good to you now. Uh, you're wrong, Burnett Stone. Just like you're always wrong. I'll tell you what she's good for. That being said, I'm still considering releasing some demo edits of a UK version of Shining Tape Station he here on Jake's channel. Since it's the holiday season, I made a UK version of Tis a Gift. It uses Internet Archive user Waymoo's upload of the original PBS Pledge Drive airing of the episode, an audio from YouTube user Thomas HD Classic upload of the restored UK audio. And don't worry, I edited out the PBS Pledge Drive portion from this video. So that's it. Please like and subscribe, and please enjoy my UK edit of the Shining Time Station Holiday Special to the Gift. This Shining Time Station Holiday Special was underwritten in part by Dayton Hudson which includes Dayton's, Marshall Fields, and Hudson's. We hope your holidays are filled with all the wonder and imagination this special season can bring. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time, where dreams can come true, waiting there for you. Uh, yes, the train from Doodlehaven is on time. 
Well, yes, it's still snowing, but oh yes. Oh, well, happy holidays to you too. Bye bye. I'm a lumberjack and I'm all right. Is the season to make money? Fa la 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 la. Hi, schemer. Hey, kids. Your old pal schemer's in an exceptionally good mood today. Besides collecting my money from my machines, check this out. Who'll be Santa's helper? The Indian Valley Christmas Committee will pick one lucky contestant to be Santa's helper for our gala holiday pageant. All decisions are final. Well, kid, do you know who they're going to pick this year to be Santa's helper? Me. <laughs> it was the part I was born to play. And when they choose me, I just might accept. <laughs> now get out of here while I'm collecting my money, huh? Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Excuse me. Who are you? I'm Harris' cousin, Tucker Cooper, senior locomotive engineer. Harry was transferred to Twidley Junction last month, and I'm helping out for the holidays. Remember, who authorized this? You authorized it, Mr. King. Oh. Well, yes, of course I did. Keeping up the family tradition. Excellent, excellent. As superintendent of the Indy Valley Railroad, allow me to be the first to welcome you to Shining Time Station. Thanks. <laughs> now, tell me, have you met Mr. Conductor yet? Mr. Conductor? He's a tiny fellow, real short. About, uh, about this tall. I have a little present. No. No, I can't say I've seen anybody looking like that. Ah, never mind. He's been here already. He has. <laughs> I hope he liked his present. <laughs> it sure is busy around here. Yeah, isn't it wonderful? Oh, that's why it's my favorite time of year. Because we all get presents? Oh, yeah, that's part of the map. But I think it's my favorite time of year because when I see people hurrying through the station, I know that there's going to be someone waiting for them when they get off the train. And maybe that's why everybody's in such a rush and it's so busy around here. Because everybody wants to get together on the holidays. But there's nothing else for us to do. We've already helped clean up the station. Nothing else to do, huh? Have you guys written to Santa to tell him what you want for Christmas? He already knows. Oh, well, it never hurts to put it in writing. Here. Yeah. Hello, Shining Time Station. Stacy Jones speaking. I'm going to tell Santa Claus to get here sooner. I'm going to tell him to get here today. Yeah, me too. I know. Let's have some music to write letters by. Oh, oh no. no. Quiet. We've just been re-employed to do our musical thing. A one and a two and a three. Oh, 
Sometimes Santa Claus, the North Pole, Alaska. The North Pole's not in Alaska. The North Pole's in the North Pole. Oh, oh, oh. What? Miss Jones. Miss Jones. Yes, what An is it? Utter catastrophe has befallen our town. Due to circumstances far beyond my control, the committee to select Santa's helper for the Indian Valley Gala Holiday Pageant has no place to meet this evening. Oh, Mr. Mayor, how can I help? I thought you would never ask, Miss Jones. Oh, the committee has unanimously decided to hold their meeting here tonight. Oh, here? At Chiming Time Station? Are you sure you want to have the meeting here? Oh, yes, I'm positive. I knew it would make you happy, Miss oh, Jones. Thank you. Thank you from the very up, bottom, bottom of my heart. Oh, yes, I knew we could come. Oh, here's the speech I was supposed to give to the honored pilgrims against pie fights. Uh, do you think anyone will have noticed? We'll talk later, when you're old enough to vote. Uh, what? Oh, uh, pardon me. Uh, Shining Time Station. It's Stacy Jones speaking. How can I... Stacy, not now. Can't you see I'm on the phone? Yes. How can I help you? Everybody's so busy. Do you think when everybody acts real busy, it makes time go slower? Yeah, it feels like Christmas is never gonna come. And how are we supposed to address these letters to Santa? Santa Claus, North Pole. Mr. Conductor, I should've known it was you. Hello, Max. Hello, Tanya. Thanks for giving us the right addresses. No trouble at all. I've written to him before. Have you ever seen Santa? Well, there was that one time I stayed up. I was determined to see him, but sleep is a powerful force. I fought it and fought it. I even threw cold water in my face. And what happened? Well, I got soaking wet. No, no, with Santa Claus. Did you see him? In a word, I can't really remember. Probably not, no. But he came. But if you just sit around waiting, Christmas will seem to take forever to arrive. Why don't you go outside and build a snowman? The snow is already up to here on me. Let's make one that looks like Santa. Hey, wait, you two. Don't forget your hats and mittens. We don't need them. Oh, you don't, don't you? That's what Thomas said about his snowplow. Don't you remember? Oh, yeah. Would you tell us that one again? Very well. <laughs> 